G'day guys, Tessie Coin Hunter back again. Tonight we're having a bit of a look at the round 50 cent piece, 1966. Now this is probably one of, it's up there as one of my favourite coins. Just because they made it for one year, um, I just like the look of it. And it's cool to put silver away. Now silver prices are going up. Do you keep more of these? Would you buy more of these? That is the question. Now, this one here I've had for 25 years. It was my grandmother's one. That was given to me after she passed away. So, yeah, this one I've had for about 25 years. She had about 160 of them saved up, but after she passed, they got sold off. I think, I think my grandfather got six dollars each from them or something like that but she had 160 of them i wish i still had them anyway that's that one and this one i got as a present birthday present for my partner which looks a bit weird like it's shiny very shiny a bit different than the old like i don't know i don't know what to make of that anyway so these ones um I bought off a guy at work, same guy I've bought a few other coins off, he sold me six of them. Um, yeah, there must be another one here somewhere, no, it's my grandmother's one. Oh yeah, I've opened one up, that's it. So he sold me six, so I paid $10 each for these. Now, I looked at them in the coin shop in Hobart, and they had them there for $12 each. And the last time I was in there, they were sold out. I think because of the price of silver going up, because these are 80% silver, people are just stacking silver away. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on about stacking silver, actually, and look, I wouldn't mind picking up a bit more silver myself. Seems like a good way to go. Maybe when the prices come down, but anyway. So I thought we'd have a bit of a, a, bit of a, a bit of fun with these ones. Um, put them over there. So we might weigh a couple, give them the old test, the old Tessie Coin Hunter test, if I can find my Magnot. Got the venue covers. Uh, a magnet, alright. Where's that lucky coin? Where is that one I throw around all over the place? Um, oh, here he is. Okay, so here's lucky coin. Let's see if it sticks to it. I really hope it doesn't. No attraction there at all. No? Okay, pass that test. Very scientific with the Tassie Coin Hunter tonight, guys. No, nope. no interest. Okay, magnet pass. Alright, let's have a bit of a bow peep. Now, this is the old. Whoops, ran the wrong way. The old Renix. 1981. I was just using it for a bit of fun. I noticed. Um, I'm playing the right way. Oh, no. Here we go. Tessie Coin Hunter, not good with books. Alright, it's got the mintage there. Um, now, they were worth $6. An extra fine. Yeah, mint rolls. Too ready. So. Let's look them up. So, 80% silver, 20% copper. Love this coin. All right, let's um, do a weight. 13.28 is what we're aiming for. All right, grams. Let's get the scales out. Now, uh, warm these up. I think I need a new pair of scales. These aren't the best. I've been kicking around the place for years, so bear with me. Mode. All right. Yeah, here. Put that one on first. And I might actually move you guys down and have a look. So thirteen point three. So you know, that's pretty good. Let's take that one off. Thirteen point four, yeah, that's okay. 
I can live with that. So let's get the book back. Uh, mine was 13.4. So, yeah, close enough. Alright, so we'll do 31.50 mil. Alright. Yeah, I'm no expert at this guy, so, you know, bear with me, I'm just having a bit of fun. Just doing a bit of checking. Just something I wanted to try. So, don't crucify me if I get it wrong. 31.2. Uh, where's my other one going? There, on the scales. 31.3. Okay. That should be memory like a sieve. 31.5. Yeah, okay. Alright, now we use the still got the good calipers here, so we'll get the good calipers out. Expensive ones. We'll see what we get. Don't scratch it, just be careful with the coin. 31.4. Seven, yeah. Maybe the, the accurate ones are a bit better, but thirty-one point four. Thirty-one point four is what we're aiming for, isn't it? So quick look. Thirty-one point five. So yeah, near enough, good enough. All right. So uh, I think they they actually passed the coin hunt. We we were done. Stop breaking this. I'm gonna go there. Yeah. Back to me all. Okay. Zero that out. Turn that off. Alright. So, yeah, get yourself a pair of these, guys. I mean, cheap ones will do the trick. I mean, a bit plastic and cheap, but anyway. I'll probably get a better pair of set of scales, maybe. I don't go much on these. But, anyway. So, that's my experience of my love of the 9. 66 round 50 cent piece. All right, guys, take it easy. Maybe, do you think we should all collect more silver? I know I've watched a lot of guys in America, they're, they're stacking silver pretty quick and they're enjoying it and getting gold. I can't afford gold, but should we stack silver? Should we put it away? All right, let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe. Tazzy Coin Hunter out. Cheers, guys.